topics. Here's a look at what we're uh, seeing across the Atlantic Basin. We have a good three disturbances that we're tracking a good 20 30 percent off in the middle of the Atlantic, but a 40 percent chance out in the Caribbean that's expected to form in the next seven days. And usually for this time of year, we have the Central American gyre, which is a low pressure system, an area of disturbed weather that usually forms in the late spring and early fall. And a lot of times this occasionally can spin up some storms and tropical storms at that uh, when it comes to hurricane season. So we're tracking that because models are are indicating that we could see some possible developments in the coming days. Looking at future track, our GFS model coming to an agreement that we could see a little disturbed area becoming a bit more organized uh, by the middle of next week. Of course, here in Texas, here across southeast Texas, we have a high pressure system in place and usually during tropical uh, hurricane season, these high pressure systems and these low pressure systems, they usually keep systems well to the east of us. So that's good news for us. We're going to continue to see this heat dome just dominating across Texas. It's going to keep those temps uh, hot and humid at least through the weekend. However, by next week, that high is going to be moving off towards the east. It's going to be weakening a bit, but we are going to see a little bit of a low pressure system moving through, and that's going to bring some slightly cooler conditions, but also it's going to bring some possible showers with this as that low is going to be uh, moving across the south central U.S. So we could look at isolated showers by Monday lasting through Wednesday. Nothing widespread. Uh, there is going to be a frontal boundary that's going to be moving through Texas, but I'd say it's really not going to be that strong enough to bring us significant cool down here across the Houston area. We're just going to continue to see those isolated showers. So for the next 10 days, we are expecting temps above average upper 90s, about 94 degrees for Saturday into Sunday, 92 for next week for the start of next week. And of course, models are indicating that we're going to see slightly cooler conditions, but we're still going to be in the 90s nonetheless as we head into the next few days. Radar right now, we're seeing mostly calm conditions. There's a few showers that are spawning off just south of the Houston area. When we get that sea breeze frontal boundary, we could see an isolated stray shower move into the Houston area like we saw yesterday. Very isolated in nature, nothing widespread, but it's going to be mostly sunny and hot, so some of us might be lucky this afternoon to get a bit of a cool down as we head into the next few days. Allergy index, we're seeing high level of weeds, moderate grasses, trees, and mold, but for your seven-day forecast, high temps in the upper 90s, overnight lows in the 70s. Unfortunately, temps remaining in the 90s as we ring in fall. We are expecting the start of next week to be mostly a bit on the cooler side, but still warm and humid. We'll be right back.